A Hillsborough County woman says she was targeted in an elaborate scheme that turned out to be a really sophisticated AI powered hoax. Tonight, Eight on Your Side is taking a deeper look into the capabilities of AI and how you can stay protected. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers spoke with a tech consultant and joins us now live in Tampa with the very latest. Nicole. How that tech consultant is not only shedding light on how you can avoid a scheme like this happening to you, but also showing some other areas where predators could be taking advantage of you. It's a mother's worst nightmare hearing your daughter's crying voice on the other end of the phone saying something terrible happened. There is nobody that could convince me that it was not. I know my daughter's cry. Even though she's an adult, I still know my daughter's cry. Sharon Brightwell says the woman on the line claimed she'd been in a crash, that she hit a pregnant driver while texting. A person posing as a lawyer jumped on, saying bail would be $15,000 in cash. So she gave it to them, but later got a call from a family friend. She had my daughter on three-way, <clears throat> and I hear my daughter's voice. It turns out the entire thing was a lie, likely powered by artificial intelligence. One thing AI can do much, much faster than we can is learn the patterns of voices. Tech consultant Joey Davila says AI has the capabilities to mimic not only your voice, but video too. So how can you spot the red flags? Despite the fact that they're using AI, all of it is a high-tech veneer on top of classic con artist schemes. And the most important one that they use, the one that works so well in their favor, is urgency. While keeping an eye out for those red flags, Davila says there are preventative measures you can put in place to better protect you and your family. Come up with passphrases, something that only you and maybe your uh, family would know, like some kind of phrase that you can say to prove it's you, or failing that, maybe some kind of inside family story or joke. And another interesting tidbit that he says is not only can they mimic the audio, but they can also mimic video. He says one way, if you're on a phone call with someone, it's a video call, like an interview, he said, for example, you want to ask someone to put their hand in front of their face, and that will stop the face mapping and allow you to see who you're really talking to. For now, live in Tampa, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.